Cancer, you are up for the October general tarot energy reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just person here reading energy and the tarot cards. So I have two timelines. I have a main timeline and an alternate timeline. The main timeline is about a reunion. And coming back together with someone doesn't necessarily have to be love. I feel like it probably is love, but it doesn't have to be. The other timeline is something that was blocked is now, whether it was blocked by you unintentionally or intentionally, or whether it was blocked by another party, it's now being freed up to come towards you. So let's go ahead and talk about the reunion part. First card that came out is the Page of Swords. So with the Page of Swords, we have Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. More specifically, it is usually known as Aquarius Energy. This can be about spying. It can also be about communication. Pages um, bring messages and, uh, and also receiving messages. So bringing messages, receiving messages. It can also be about travel too. Swift travel at that. Some of you might be taking a flight as well, too, specifically. So with this, someone has more than likely been trying to get in contact with you, or maybe you've been trying to get into contact with them. I feel like it's the other way around. They've been trying to get in contact with you. They've more than likely been observing you for a while because they feel like you will be apprehensive to reuniting. And the Four of Cups came out next. Water, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Four of Cups is about declining something. It's almost like something is being offered to you and you're like, no, I'm good. Type of energy. Now, going back to the Page of Swords, clarifying the Page of Swords is the Page of Swords again but reverse with temperance reversed. So temperance is Sagittarius energy. Some of you could have been dealing with the Sagittarius. Also with the Page of Swords, this could be somebody younger than you. Maybe you're dealing with the young Sagittarius. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. With the Page of Swords in the reverse and temperance in the reverse, meaning that when temperance is usually about healing, it's about moderation. It is about staying grounded I think about healing. I feel like you might have been in an energy where it's just like, no, I'm not looking to heal anything. No, I'm not looking to communicate with this person. And I don't feel it was a huge fallout. It was just like you may not have felt it was worth your time because what I was getting when I was shuffling the cars, both decks, the first time it didn't quite come together when I tried to, you know, do the thing or whatever. And I'm like, well, that's weird. So then I do it again the second time and it, they perfectly stacked, perfectly stacked. I'm like, okay. So then the second deck when I was shuffling it, same thing. First time, it didn't quite come together. Second time, it stacked perfectly one over the other. And the energy I was getting from that, it's like, okay, it didn't quite come together first time. And honestly, I feel like maybe there was some immaturity there, but honestly... I just think it wasn't the right time. And again, doesn't have to be about love. This could be friendship. It's almost like, I don't know if some people know, Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey didn't get along at first. And it, it was due to other parties. It wasn't them that had the issue with each other. It was other parties that would feed information to them or try to create a narrative. And then that stuff sort of fueled them not really coming together to work together at one point or even just to be friends. So eventually time goes on, decades pass, and it's like they actually come together and they're like, wait a second, I didn't have a problem with you. I thought you had, you know, that type of thing. And it, neither one of them had a problem with each other. Ended up being really good friends. So... I feel like it could be that situation. Maybe there was somebody you didn't get along in high school with and they find you. And especially with the page of source, that's electronic communication. So it's either going to be like on a cell phone, um, you know, face, social media, Facebook. Uh, I heard Tinder in my head, even though I wasn't thinking that, but I heard Tinder in my head, um, Facebook, Instagram, and, and Twitter, things like that. It'll be something electronic more than likely because again, I feel that this person has more than likely been watching you. 
And not in a bad way. Just trying to figure out a good time to approach you. So, I believe that there, this reunion is going to be, it's going to come together. And again, High Priestess came out. Secrets. And going back again, I feel like this is something... I feel like this person has something to say, especially with the high priestess, like hidden knowledge, hidden information. And also clarifying the four of cups is the ten of wands reversed. I feel like whatever may have happened in the past, the past is the past. Eight of Pentacles clarifying the high priestess and high priestess is Pisces energy. Um, Pentacles, Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Eight, working on something. Usually it can be about a job, but also it can be working on something. So, I feel someone wants to work on it. Maybe someone has been silent. And you may have the impression from them like they don't want to work on anything. But actually they do. They may not show it, but they do want to work on it. And this could be your energy too, where you may not show it, but you actually want to work on it as well. The Empress is here. Which is um, Taurus, Libra, and Cancer energy with the Empress. Which is about abundance. It is about knowing your worth. It is where things come to you. You don't chase them. So the Empress doesn't chase anything. And that may be what's going on here too. Where this person knows you're not going to reach out. You're not chasing anything. You are actually content because you're an Empress energy. It's like, okay, well, I'm good either way. And they know that. So with their approach, when they approach you, they know they can't approach you with the shenanigans. With um, knight, I said knight, page of wands, and then the five of wands, both in the reverse. In the upright, it's about conflict. They know that they can't bring conflict to you. That is what they know. They also know where there was a moment where you were fine with being an option, whether it's a friendship or a relationship or whatever, now they know you're not fine with being an option. It's like, no, you need to put me first. The reason I'm getting that energy is because the page of wands plus the five of wands is the six of wands. Six of wands is about attention, recognition, victory, success, things like that. So I'm thinking six of wands energy, which is the treatment you're looking for. You're looking for are not really looking, it's not even looking. You expect, that's the right word. You expect empress treatment is what you expect. I do feel this will be a surprise to you because you have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. So it's something from your past. More water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Also at the bottom of the clarification deck, another surprise card, the six of pentacles. So you have the six of cups and the six of pentacles. Both surprise cards. Where they're coming in. But they're coming in because they want to invest. Because the king of coins, pentacles, is here. King plus six is seven, which is about investment. That's what they're looking for. They could also be in king of pentacles energy now. Maybe they were immature before, but now they're actually acting like a king should act. Two. Now, let's go to the alternate timeline right quick as we wrap this up. Alternate timeline. There is some type of money coming in. The money was blocked either due to you, whether consciously or subconsciously or whatever, or somebody else. And I feel there may be something in your communication, like an email that you overlooked, that there is actually some money waiting on you, too. So if I were you, I would go through my electronic communications, check the emails. Now, for others of you, this could be research online and then you have that idea It may have been an idea that you were apprehensive about where you were like, "Eh, I don't think it's a good idea. For some of you, you may decide to do it anyway just to see what happens. And you put some work into it. You don't really tell anybody about it. High priestess energy. And then with the empress energy, also with the um, page of swords Reverse the temperance reverse because again, I feel like there was somebody blocking it, whether it was you or them. 
Um, honestly, Cancer, I feel like it was you. I feel like you didn't believe in what something was or, or whatever. But it actually ends up paying off. Hence, the King of Coins. And then, also again, the Empress, which is an Abundance card. With the Six of Cups, with the Six of Coins. Six of Coins being a sudden cash infusion. Coming out the blue. Unexpected. Six of Cups meaning it's tied to the past. So it's something that you did, something that you worked on. More than likely, you didn't tell anyone. And now you're starting to see the fruits of it, even though you were resistant to doing it at the beginning or you were doing it. And as it was going on, you weren't expecting anything from it. So, yeah, that is the alternate timeline. But the main timeline that I'm getting is that there's some type of reunion that's happening where it just wasn't right at that time the first time you dealt with this person but now it seems like all the stars are aligned where this reunion will be beneficial to both parties and I feel that it could be something long term and also I feel that whether you admit it or not is something that you actually wanted alright so that is your message cancer until next time be blessed